What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. I want to look at my sponsor, Steel Supplements. Link and discount code down in the description. You also know I'm a Weeble. Prefer to fluids are best promotion in the pinned comment. All you need to do, click the link, open an account, agree to the terms and conditions. They are going to give you free stock. And I know a lot of you are here because of Madden, but I want to present to you a decision that makes EA look like scholars and gentlemen. You know, for those that follow my community page, you know I love baseball. And while just a few years ago, many of you mocked me for the state of the Baltimore Orioles, and I haven't said a single marshmallow peep in response to you, I've simply watched Henderson, Rutschman, Usher in a youth movement, Mullins and Mountcastle kind of become the youngest veterans you could ask for. But a few weeks ago, Kevin Brown, our incredible play-by-play -play man for our broadcast, suddenly stopped showing up. At first, I thought maybe he took a vacation, since clearly he won't be taking one in October by the looks of it, and I watched the roles he normally took be filled by other announcers. And recently, the news broke that he'd been suspended. Now, you guys should know, being a Colts fan, I'm no stranger to incompetent ownership and team owners who have been born on third base, but we'll tell you about the triple they just hit. So let me just preface before I share with you what happened. All pregame broadcasts have graphics discussed beforehand. They don't just throw graphics on the screen and have the announcer ad lib. They don't expect them to memorize all the facts. So, set aside Tropicana Field. The Rays are a great team. As a matter of fact, when Adley got called up, they soundly beat the Orioles. I was there for that game. It was embarrassing how the team played for a number of years. But in that game specifically, really the only thing fans had to cheer for was the triple Adley hit. I spent a good amount of money going to the game. I spent even more money donating to an auction to get a ball from that game. I love the Baltimore Orioles, but I want you to listen to the next clip, and I want you to look at the actual graphic that appeared on the screen, and I want you to honestly ask yourself, even in the most insane cancel culture you could imagine, is there anything that's being said here that would warrant a suspension? For the Orioles, Brandon Hyde has felt like this has been maybe the toughest ballpark to play in but the Orioles have a chance to do something special today they've already clinched at least a split in the series winning two of the first three and they could pick up a series win behind Tyler Wells today it's been a minute the Orioles split a two gamer with the Rays in June they had lost their last 15 series here at Tropicana Field you have to go back to when our now colleague Brad Brock picked up the win in the series finale June 25th 2017, the last time the Orioles won a series here at St. Pete. Already got three and two of the chop this year after winning three of 18. The previous three years combined. It is a stark difference, Ben, and it is not a bad Rays team. It's not like all of a sudden the no. Rays uh, became slouches in the American League East. They've led this division every day, but now two, and the Orioles once again are back alone in first place. So, for ownership to suspend him for this, citing it made them sound cheap. <laughs> well, you know, the Orioles are cheap. It's just the way things work. Sure, it's a great team now because incredible leadership and a most amazing farm system. But we still have the 28th lowest salary in the game. You know, when the Yankees would come to town, there was a good chance you had a starting pitcher like Garrett Cole or a closer like Aroldis Chapman that was making more than the entire Orioles roster. So all he was saying is where the team has been to where they are now is such an incredible turnaround. And if you're going to suspend him for saying that, then you need to suspend everyone involved in the broadcast because not only do I feel they share the same sentiment, but in many cases, most of the people involved in preparing those graphics would have had the same exact opinion, which really isn't all that hard of an opinion to get, you would think that the Orioles would want people to understand the turnaround, see the youth movement, see how great Baltimore has baseball again. You know, for the longest time, this was a Ravens city, and it still will be, but one misstep by the Ravens, another season where they don't maybe compete the way they're expected to, and you could honestly see Baltimore turn orange again. And it's been a long time 
since that happened. So I'm glad to see the Red Sox, the Red Sox announcer, the Mets, the White Sox, the Angels, and yeah, I'll bookend them. The Yankees announcer as well, coming out and speaking up. Even Rich Eisen went out and talked about how ridiculous this is. But perhaps I think what's the worst point of this is in the midst of one of the most feel-good seasons we've had in, I don't know, what seems like 10-plus years, we lose our announcer. And this is the kind of stuff that breaks a team that was just having fun, takes fans out of the game. And since I did mention Adley, I'd also like to mention that the track record our ownership has is amazingly short-sighted and petty. That's why Mike Mussina never got his number retired, and Adley can wear it today, because he elected to go to the Yankees, and that was a big deal to the Angelos family. As a matter of fact, if this video reaches enough people, I bet they would make the call to remove my season tickets, because God forbid anyone have an opinion that is different than their own. And you know what? I just want to close this out, because I know a lot of you come here for football. Here is an aforementioned Adley Rutschman tackling Christian McCaffrey. I appreciate you guys watching this. I would love to know not only your opinion on this, but if you could share with me some of the most baffling moves your sports team, football or not, has ever made, I would appreciate it. Again, love to know your thoughts on it, and you know I will be back in the week with more commentary.